Hi, I'm Morgan Day Cecil. Welcome. Come to a simple sitting posture on your mat. Wherever you are, however you are sitting, it's perfect for right now. We're just going to begin by connecting to our breath. This class is a breath-centered flow to open your heart and your hips and to freshen your perspective. In this class, we'll be addressing the restlessness that arises in our spirit from a desire for more. And the first thing I want to say is that this desire for more is good. This desire for more is something that God gave us to continue seeking for Him and the life to the full that he has for us, a life of healing and wholeness and freedom. We're going to transform the restless energy into a powerful and productive energy. Today in my practice, I'm using wild orange essential oil. Wild orange is a mood and a mind uplifter. It's an energy uplifter, and it's also the oil of abundance and possibility. You can take two drops and just place it on your hands, or if you have a diffuser, you can diffuse the oil in your home. On your hands, you can rub your hands together, and place it and cup it over your nose and mouth and take a deep breath in. Mm, and then rub the remaining oil on your neck. I have this to offer you today. It's a poem by Rumi. It's called The Breeze at Dawn. The breezes at dawn have secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. So in this heart and hip opening flow, I would like you to connect to the desires of your heart. We're going to awaken the heart to the reality that more is possible. More life, more freedom, more love, more healing. Don't go back to sleep. Don't deny the desire for more that you're feeling. Transform the restlessness into productivity. So come to, a, to sit cross-legged with an open chest and a tall spine and interlace your hands. Stretch your arms overhead and turn your palms face up. Breathe here. Two more breaths, moving down with the sits bones, lifting from the crown of our head. One more breath, opening the chest, shoulders fall away from the ears, exhale. Now stand up and come to about hips distance apart in your stance, interlace your fingers. And try to interlace your fingers in the awkward way, you know, with your atypical finger on top. Bring your fingers behind you, relax your neck, and fold over your legs. Bring your hands over your head. Inhale again here for three breaths. Really releasing, surrendering down, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the neck. Your next exhale, slowly round up to standing. Inhale, now step your right foot back into a lunge. With control, we're coming into warrior one pose. Turn your right heel down and your toes out to 45 degrees. Long side waist, reach your arms overhead and lift your chest. Three breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer position at your chest. Now hook your right elbow outside your left knee and come into a twist. Gaze is up over your left shoulder. Revolve side angle pose. Exhale, release the twist. Place your palms flat on the mat on either side of your front foot and step back into plank pose, strong through your core, strong arms. Draw your belly in 
and lengthen through your spine, reaching your head forward, extending your heels back, energy out your heels. Inhale and roll onto the outside of your left foot. Come into Vasti Stastara, side plank pose. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders, reach your tailbone towards your heels, and raise your right arm up to the sky, gazing at your top middle finger. Breathe here. Feeling the rib cage widen with the breath. Lungs pressing into the rib cage. Exhale, roll down onto your toes and return the upper hand to the mat. Beautiful. Now step forward with your left, I say step forward with your right foot so you're in warrior one. With control, turn your left heel down and your toes into 45 degrees angles. Reach your arms overhead, lift your chest, strong warrior, really engaging through the heels of both legs here. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer position at your chest and hook your left elbow outside your right knee and come into a gentle twist, gazing up over your right shoulder. Connecting to your breath. Inhale in through the nose and exhale in through the nose. Release the twist and place your palms flat on either side of your front foot and step back into plank pose. Draw your belly in to engage the core, lengthen through the spine. Crown of your head reaches long and forward. Extend back through your heels and roll on to the outside of your right foot, coming into side plank on the opposite side. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders, reach your tailbone down towards your he heels and raise your left arm up, energy out the fingers. Gaze follows your hands and look up to the sky. Breathe here. Feel the lungs filling with air, pressing out into the armpit and the rib cage. Good. And the exhale, roll down onto your toes. Return your hand to the mat. Come to plank. Step back into child's pose. Just release. Breathe. Breathe into the back side of the heart, that space in between the shoulder blades. Breathe there. Do not fall back asleep. Do not fall back asleep. The breeze has secrets to tell you. Let your breath minister to you. Come up to standing and take a big step out to the side. Interlace your fingers the awkward way and hinge your hips forward and bring your, your clasped hands over your head towards the floor. This is a big shoulder opener here, so be gentle if you have shoulder issues. Breathe in this wide-legged standing forward bend. Smile. Release the tension in your jaw. Release the tension in your neck. Enjoy this inversion. Turning your world upside down is really good for you. Helps to shift your perspective and freshen your gaze. On your inhale, slowly roll up. Turn your feet out so your toes are pointed out, your heels are pointed in and sit low, bend your knees deeply. Raise your arms in front of you, bend your elbows and cross your right elbow on top of your left. Wrap your forearms and your hands. Now just gently sway, shifting your weight from side to side. This desire for more that we feel it often appears like restlessness and it's hard to feel content and satisfied. But if we dig a little deeper, I think we'll find that it's our heart burning, begging, just desiring to be heard. There's something in you that is desiring to be heard, to be acknowledged. God placed in your spirit this desire for more that so you would be hungry for freedom hungry for life to the full. So we can transform this restlessness instead of trying to deny it or subdue it. 
that's what we're doing here today with our breath, just taking, taking what we have, meeting ourselves right where we're at, just breath by breath. The next exhale, release the hands. Cross now your left elbow on top of your right. Wrap your forearms and your hands. And again, sway, this time folding forward as you sway. Our heart is over our head now. Let our heart, let our heart speak. Let the mind be quiet and just listen. We're awake for a reason. We're awake because maybe there are secrets to hear. Maybe there's something important that wants to be whispered through you out into the world. Breathe in, come to a kneeling pose. Now we're gonna do a really big heart opener here. Half camel, it's so beautiful. We're gonna draw up and through our navel, rise our left arm back and place your right hand on the sole of your right foot. Really focus on lengthening through your side body without twisting your hips. And so both hip points are still facing the front of your mat. Inhale, come up. Really reach, exhale, sweep your hands in front of you to come on to the other side. So this time, you're gonna raise your right arm back and place your left hand on the sole of your left foot. Lengthening through the side body, the hips stay square to the front of your mat. Deep inhale in, and let's do it again. Switching sides, sweeping our hands across our mat, forward folding, then open up, inhaling big, heart opening to half camel. Follow your breath, your rhythm. Let's do that a few more times to the left and to the right, really lengthening through the side body, opening the heart big. And when you finish equal times on both sides, come to line on your stomach and reach back to hold onto your inner ankles. Press your belly, your thighs, and your pubic bone into the mat. Feel your spine move forward and contract your hamstrings and glutes strongly. Keep your neck long and your gaze straight in front of you. Your chin is parallel to the floor. We're coming up into bow pose. Tailbone tucks under, breathe, breathe here. Even though it's difficult to breathe, breathe. And exhale, release. Inhale, come into three-legged dog. Raise your left leg. Heel reaching for the ceiling, keeping your hips parallel to your mat. Imagine a line from raised from your third toe and press it back as you spread your toes wide. And exhale, bring your left shin close to parallel to the front edge of the mat. We're coming into pigeon pose. Press your pelvis into the floor. Or if you have some blankets, you can stack them under your left thigh to give you some support here. Square your hips, lift your belly away from your thigh. And then if you like to take a forward bend here, forward fold from the hips. Then come back up. Press your fingertips into the floor to expand your chest. Oh, we're gonna do a revolved pigeon pose. So bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, palms pressed together strongly in prayer position at the heart. Twist to the left, and deep in your belly. Let the twist originate from your pelvis, just deep in your core. See if you can keep your hips square, but deep within your lower belly, let the twist originate and keep twisting gently. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Press back into child's. One breath here. Now press back into three-legged dog on the opposite side. This time, raise your right leg long, keeping your hips parallel reaching your toes back, engaging through the heel, 
reaching all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your right shin close to parallel to the front edge of the mat and press your pelvis to the floor. Use those blankets if you like to on the, under your right thigh, giving you some support. Square your hips and lift your belly away from the thighs. Forward fold from the hips just briefly here. And then inhale back up, press your fingers firmly into the floor and expand your chest, smiling with the collarbones. And then exhale, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, palms pressing together in prayer. And twist now to the right from deep inside your core, deep in the belly, the twist originates. Our hips stay square. And as we inhale, we grow long through the spine, tail all the way to the crown. And an exhale, we twist deeper and our gaze looks up over our shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Press it back into child for a brief moment. And then come to sitting with the soles of your feet together. Root your sitting bones deep into your mat. Like two hooks into the ground. This is going to stabilize you and keep you connected. We're going to come into Blossoming Lotus, a really fun pose. So raise your feet, thread your forearms under your knees, and join your thumbs and forefingers together. We have a long long spine here really proud and tall lengthening all the way from our sits bones out the crown of our head inhaling gathering energy from the earth gathering it all the way to the crown of our head exhale extend your legs forward on the mat and flex your feet take your first two fingers around your big toes and inhale lifting your heart and exhale, lengthen your spine. Release, forward folding here. We're gonna breathe here together for 10 breaths. Inhale, growing tall. Exhale, surrendering deeper. Lengthening the spine with every inhale. Exhaling, giving way to gravity, letting gravity take us deeper, surrendering fully, completely letting all the air out. One more breath here. Exhale, release the fold, come up and sit cross-legged with hands clasped together. Over your head, this time bringing the opposite finger, interlacing your hands the opposite way. Raise your arms up. Breathe big here. Notice any difference that you feel from the beginning of your practice. Smile with the collarbones. Take a bow. Mm, very nice, very nice. And come to lying on your back and enjoy Savasana. Let me read this poem by Rumi to you again. Here we are. The breezes at dawn have secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. People are going back and forth across the door sill where the two worlds touch. The door is round and open. Don't go back to sleep. Your heart is awake. The reality of more is close. More life, more freedom, more love. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Don't go back to sleep. 
Be courageous and make the big ask. What do you want? Spirit, I pray you continue to awaken us more to the more of you. Give us courage to believe in our dreams again. Put this restlessness to good use. Strengthen our bodies. Mature us in the spirit. Open our heart to the more you dream for us. Thank you, friends, for joining me. Today you have opened up your heart and opened up your hips. And may this practice continue throughout the rest of your day. We'll see you back here again. Grace and peace.